Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Evans, and you're watching Black Onyx, bringing you face to face with some of South Africa's most talented asset managers. And today I'm joined by Len Jordan, who's head of ETFs at ABSA. Thank you so much for joining us, Len. Thank you for having me. In the current environment, a lot of people are moving their money offshore. Can you talk to this? I can't. Uh, <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have international funds, so we do have a note that invests in a multi-factor MSCI uh, risk premium index with a, with a target volatility strategy on top of that. So that's a relatively conservative fund for investors. And I think that that actually works quite nicely in this environment because a lot of people are looking for offshore exposure but once they've converted their RAND into hard currency, it's a, it's a really difficult decision on where to invest. Uh, you know, people are talking about the, the valuations of the companies in the S&P, and obviously US stocks make up quite a big proportion of the MSCI world. Uh, there's negative yields on a lot of European bonds, and uh, cash is earning you virtually nothing. So, you know, once you've, once you've converted your RAND uh, to, to foreign currency, finding a natural home for it is, is, qu is quite tough, and we think that this, uh, this note uh, is, is, is a nice safe haven type of asset to, in, to invest in. Let's chat about some of your other funds. What we've done is we've said, once you're invested in equity, um, it's, it's good to be exposed to low volatility stocks, but even low volatility stocks can become highly volatile. So when the market crashed in 2008, even if you were invested in low volatility stocks, you would have still experienced around about a 25% volatility, which is extremely high. Um, so we've introduced something in South Africa in fund format. It's the first time it's been, din uh, been done in funds, which is a target volatility. And what that allows investors to do is to match an exact volatility of what they would like to experience uh, in the portfolio. And, and how we achieve that is by investing in cash when volatility spikes. Now the strategy is based on some research that we've done that shows that when volatility spikes massively in equities, it's, it's always followed, or 90% of the time, it's followed by an immediate drawdown uh, in, in share prices. And so what we try to do is when we see that volatility spike in share markets, we sell some of the shares and we invest in cash, which theoretically has a volatility of zero, so that overall your portfolio has the volatility that you selected. The three strategies that we have is conservative, moderate, and, and high growth. The conservative fund has a target volatility of 8%, the moderate fund has a target volatility of 15%, and the high growth is, tw is 20%. Uh, to put that in perspective, um, historically South African equities has a volatility of around 18%. So you can see that the conservative fund would be invested probably between 30 and 40% of the time in, in equities and 60% in cash. Uh, the moderate fund would be 75% in equities and 25% in cash and the high growth fund would typically be 100% in cash. But all three of these funds can be 100% in equity or 100% in cash. In 2008, for example, all three of these funds would have been 100% in cash. So investors would have been earning around about a 6 or 7% yield when equity markets had crashed by 30 or 40%. What the strategy then tries to do is that when volatility comes down, it starts to invest back into cash so that, so that you're participating in the recovery of equities and you're benefiting from that excess return that equities would, would typically give you over cash on a long-term basis. Len, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for watching Black Onyx.